Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Dingle Days. In today's episode, it's a little bit cold outside and I was trying to think what are some things I could do with my dog indoors to stimulate him, but also enjoy some bonding time with him. So today, Disney and I are gonna be working on scent detection. Basically, how to get him to identify the strongest scent. Let's get after it. In order to work on this skill, I'm gonna just take three mini Soho cups like this, and I'm gonna fill them with three different scents. One being a treat that we work with all the time, one being some ground up coffee beans, and then the other is just gonna be empty. What I'm gonna do is set the target scent for Disney to identify, and then slowly build up, basically starting with one cup, moving to two, and then on to all three. I'm gonna take the strongest scent, or the scent that I want us to identify, in this case, it's gonna be some ground up coffee beans, and put it in one cup, cover it with some tape, and put a little hole on the top. And then the other, I'll just have be empty, and then the third, I'll have with a treat that we normally use. I'm gonna try to get him, in this case, to identify the ground up coffee beans in different scenarios, and then eventually we'll move up to placing those treats in different locations. Once he puts his nose to the target scent, I'm gonna identify that with a strong yes, or if you wanna use a clicker, use that to mark that he identified the correct thing. Then we're gonna slowly build up and see if he can continue to identify the ground up coffee beans. I have our target scent here. What I'm gonna do is basically just play on his curiosity I have something in my hand. I'm gonna encourage him to go to it. Once he puts his nose to the scent, I'm going to mark that behavior with a yes or with a clicker if you happen to have one of those. But as long as your timing is good, you can just use your voice commands. Yes. 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 Basically, he's getting cause and effect. I put my nose on this thing and I get a treat. Encourage. Yes. Okay. He's thinking, he's like, okay, all right. Yes. And as soon as he goes back to it, I'm gonna mark that behavior and eventually it's gonna speed up. He's trying different behaviors. Yes. He's seeing, okay, I go back to that and then I get a treat. We're just gonna do this with a couple more iterations. Yes. And as soon as he does it, you wanna mark that behavior so he knows what gets him the treat. Yes. Put the nose on there, he gets a treat. See if he gets it. He's thinking about it, he's going to other behaviors. Let's see if he goes back to it. He's thinking, he's thinking. Yes, boom, and then you just mark that behavior. And you wanna get this consistent first before you move on to adding anything else. I am going to add the empty cup and see if he can still identify the target treat. So right now I have the target treat on the left side. So you can mark it however you want so you remember where your target treat is so you can mark the behavior. Yes, good boy. He's gotta use his nose. Yes, good boy. All right, I'm gonna mix him up to see if he still gets it. Yes, good boy. I mixed it up and so he went to the right treat. Yes, good boy. Good job. Yes, good boy. He's like, okay, all right. It's on the right side now. Yes, good boy. I'm gonna mix it up, see if he notices. Yes, good boy. All right, you're gonna have to do this a few times to make sure he knows which one. Search, yes. So he put his nose on there, he got the treat. Search. Yes. So he went to the right one, he got it. Does he search? Yes, good boy. Search. Yes, good boy. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna zoom in a little bit so you can actually see what's going on here. Search. No. Yes, good boy. So he identified the correct treat. Is he search? Yes, good boy. You have to mark it as soon as he finds it. Does he search? Yes. All right, so you just go back to where he was successful. Disney search. Disney search. Yes. Good boy. Disney search. Yes. 
Good boy. Disney search. Yes. Good boy. Now I'm going to add going to add the empty one, not to confuse him. Disney search. Yes, he found the right one. Disney search. Yes, good boy. We'll mix it up real quick. It's in my left now. Disney search. Yes, good boy. It's in my left now. Disney search. Yes, good boy. Disney search. Yes, good boy. Very good. Very good. Very good. So I'm going to ward over here to make sure. Right away, you can tell that he's a little bit confused about what we're asking him to do, but that's okay. Um, this is not something your dog is gonna get right away. You gotta keep working at it, and don't go faster than your dog is really able to. We were mixing in the third placebo, and I think it was a little bit much for him. So we'll check back in a couple weeks and see how Disney is doing with this scent detection. But this is a really fun skill. I mean, you can get them to go find different things, and you might find that your dog's doing this on their own. If I tell him to go get it as far as a Frisbee is concerned, he'll find it in the yard. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. And he's definitely not using his eyes to find the Frisbee. He's using his nose. So what we're trying to do now is get him to target a particular scent, whether that be your little brother uh, or, you know, go, go find whatever. And it's really great because you want to use their nose. You want to stimulate the brain. And, you know, you also want to get your dog lots of exercise. So, hey, we'll see you guys in the next episode of Think Lace. Thank you.